friends, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're an OG, welcome back. Today, guys, I honestly didn't plan on recording this. Um, <clears throat> but I have ginger chicken and some kimchi. Oh, I don't know exactly. It's like... It said chicken, chicken kimchi, I don't know, I don't know guys, it's like just noodles. <laughs> but it says kimchi on the, on the front of the package. This is like one of my favorites. I got my water. <clears throat> okay, I've never had ginger chicken, so I don't know what to expect. And I made I just made a huge mess when I was trying to take my thumbnail. Because I've been trying to take the thumbnail picture before I eat. I've been like watching like tips and tricks and stuff for YouTubers and the mukbang community. And um just because I don't want to be sitting there with the plate like this, like eh, eh, taking all these different shots. So I take the pictures before I start filming. So yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So yeah, I made a huge mess. When I was taking the thumbnail, I had the plate tipped and all my food was sliding forward and a bunch of the sauce from the ginger chicken went everywhere. But yeah, guys, so. So I know like I spoke about this before hold the front door Sally yes This is just, um, whew. that was kind of spicy. Not, not like unbearably spicy, but just it caught me off guard. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yes, I spoke about it before and I noticed uh, Angeline Spicy started a poll to figure out what her subscribers wanted to be called. And because I mean, I've been watching YouTube for years. And I know like a lot of people have like little nickname type thing. I'm sure as time goes on, some ideas will come to me. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> I know I say like, hey friends, hey. And I mean, you guys are my friends. At least I hope you guys view it that way, that we're friends. Um, and I know like, I think it'll just come naturally, like, So yeah, it'll come naturally, I think. <clears throat> and uh, my son said I should have merch made that says, hey friends, hey. <laughs> <clears throat> or one that said <laughs> I just thought of this now or one that says shut the front door Sally or hold the front door Sally I think we're a little early in the game to be talking about merch but it's definitely a goal um <clears throat> so this chicken, I'm not sure, I'm assuming they sell these in the, the U.S. too. Mm. It comes in a box. And they have like, fried rice, ginger chicken, sweet and sour pork, honey garlic pork. A bunch of different ones and it's um i think the brand is i'm probably gonna say this backwards i think it's wong wing it says on the top of the box wong wing and this is the first time i've ever tried the ginger chicken one i get the sweet and sour pork one that's my one of my favorites. This isn't as good as like Chinese restaurant. Or if you were to do it like homemade. This is just those little those little Chinese the little boxes of Chinese food you get in your frozen food section at Walmart. They sell them at Walmart. Here, I know they do. In Canada. Um, <clears throat> but they um, sell them at Walmart. Here, they sell them at the grocery stores. Um, I find them a bit on the pricey side. You might as well go to a... You might as well just go to a Chinese restaurant. Mm.
Hmm. This was so quick to do, too. Like, I just use the... I open... It, the noodles come in, like, a bowl. It's made by Mr. Noodle, is the company. I didn't notice that. I thought they were a different brand, because it said kimchi on the top. But in small print in the corner, I noticed it says Mr. Noodle. So I was like, okay. And they're, they're quite spicy. Um, you can like add what you want for seasoning. The, if you add all of it, it's going to be full, full effect spice. Um, but if you add just like half the seasonings, it's going to not be as strong. And then I always throw some soy sauce on top because I, I like soy sauce. And, um, yeah, so that, I just peeled the top back on the noodle bowl, put the seasoning, I use all the seasoning because I like it spicy. Uh. Oh, excuse, uh. excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. So, <clears throat> I put all the seasoning and then I fill it with like boiling water. I always throw water in my coffee perk and just let it heat up through the coffee perk because it, I don't know, I just do it, it's easy. And so then I pour the water in, cover it, and it, the noodles do their thing. And then I always strain, I always like drain the water out. I just strain the noodles. And these little chicken, like come in the box in little pouches and you puncture holes in the top of the pouch comes with two pouches this was this was one box the amount that was on my plate and honestly <clears throat> it's perfect amount for one person like i know it says two servings but honestly unless you eat like unless you're my mom and you eat like a bird literally that lady eats like a bird <clears throat> I wish, I wish I could only eat as much as she does. Anyways, but you puncture the holes and honestly, I hate, I hate microwave. I don't like microwaving things. I don't think it's healthy for you, but you put it in the microwave for four minutes four and a half minutes I put it in for six and a half five and a half yeah five and a half mm. technically six yeah technically six minutes and then I just open the pouches and there's like a lot of sauce in these, so I honestly like strained some of it because it was like way too much. I mean, it'd be all right if you put it on a, like a bed of rice or something. Um, I'm just not used to the flavor of ginger, like. <clears throat> when I get sushi from my supermarket, I it comes with ginger. I never you I never eat it. So I think that's something, you know, acquire a taste for it, I guess.
that's the same like some people don't like wasabi now I will put I will put some wasabi um not every piece of my sushi but like just a couple because I like the kick like I like the spice so I didn't do too bad today guys I had breakfast I had cereal for breakfast I had one coffee I had that's my second bottle of water and <clears throat> I had watermelon did I say that <laughs> and now I'm having this Sorry, I'm trying not to do the scrapey noise with my fork because I know some people get like super triggered. Um. And now I fully know why they, a lot of mukbangers use plastic utensils or wooden. This was really good. <clears throat> so I'm excited, guys. I'm excited to go to my besties for some drinks tomorrow night. Mmm. So I'll be definitely vlogging a bit while I'm there, having some drinks. <clears throat> Who knows, I might even be ballsy and go live on YouTubes. Anyways, my beautiful, beautiful friends, thank you for having dinner with me. I appreciate you guys every single one of you and I heart you to the moon and back times infinity um yes so I will catch you guys in my next video Who says that? Who says that to the moon and back? Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> yes, two girls, one mukbang. I was like, I know someone says, I, like, we love you guys to the moon and back. I'm pretty sure it's them. Um, the struggle's real with, like, trying to avoid saying people's tag, like, their lines, they say. So, I'm sorry if I offended you girls by taking your line, but, I mean, you know. Excuse me. Well, maybe I'll say I love you to Mars and back times infinity and beyond. There we go. So, yes, my lovely, my lovely table good old Assassin's Creed. <laughs> anyway, my lovely, beautiful friends, thank you for having dinner with me, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Or, yeah, because my vloggy vlogs. Anyway, deuces.